you're still watching Breakfast Central on a Wednesday. Let's take you to Tunisia, where President Kai Saeed uh, has dismissed finance and technological ministers of the cabinet of the outing Prime Minister uh, Hisham Echichi as the continues uh, to purge our top-level state uh, uh, courses. Now, according to a statement from the presidential office, Minister of Economy and Finance Investment Support, that's in the name of Ali Kuli, has been replaced by Sihem uh, Bugdiri, a senior official at the Ministry, while Minister of Communication Technologies, that's Mohamed Fadel Karem, was replaced by Niza Benneji, a communication expert and the project lead at the National Agency for Electro Electronic Certification. Now, Kuli and Karem are the second and third cabinet members to be fired by the, by the president who sacked Michichi late last month as part of an unprecedented move that saw him seizing the, the executive power and suspending the parliament. Now, the president also late last week appointed a new head of the interior ministry, which was also led by Michichi. Right, so we have our correspondent, Abdinor Arden, returning to breakfast uh, this morning to give us the latest uh, out there. Well, uh, Abdin, good morning. Welcome to you. First, it was the firing of Prime Minister uh, Richichi and dissolving parliament for 30 days. And now his new minister is being sworn in. What is really fueling the uncertainty uh, in Tunisia? Thank you so much, Olu and Oli. And uh, to start with the uh, President Kais, what he has done is he has appointed interim members of the cabinet because the Tunisian constitution limits those powers to the prime minister. And as, as it is currently, the prime minister isn't in place. Therefore, the only um, persons he has appointed are interim uh, ministers for now. And uh, before I look at the profiles of uh, both newly appointed ministers, I think it's a decision that is continuing to receive opposition, especially from the leading uh, en Nahda party, which is the majority in parliament. And um, we expect uh, more reactions uh, in the coming days. Right. Now, Abdino, what do you think is making the president take such drastic action um, in terms of um, sacking key government figures in the country at a time like this when Tunisia is going through peculiar, peculiar, peculiar um, situation? Well, if we look at the appointment of the new uh, minister for the interim minister for finance, uh, the first thing is uh, the Tunisian government is currently facing a lot of inflation, um, also owing to tax uh, evasion in the country. And um, in the last few days, the former minister for uh, finance has been based in Washington trying to seek uh, some borrowing in order to try and salvage the situation. But now he has been replaced uh, by Bourdiri, Bourdiri Nemsia, who, uh, according to her profile, has experience in dealing with IMF and other international bodies. So the country has been trying to seek um, some money from the donors in order to try and uh, contribute to the economy. And as we speak, uh, the amount is stated to be $4 billion uh, loan uh, from the IMF. All right. She just mentioned her, uh, herself, uh, Nemsia Bugdiri. Let's uh, quickly look at the work history of the new Minister of Finance, Shihem Bugdiri uh, Nemsia. I will uh, give you a rundown of uh, her profile and what she's done and uh, perhaps how supported she will be uh, out there in Parliament now for Tunisia. Uh, she's an economics and tax specialist. Uh, she spent 28-year 28, uh, 28 career at the Ministry of Finance. She's no stranger right. at, uh, in, Parliament, in the Cabinet. She's also ex experienced in dealing with IMF and other international bodies, just like you said there, uh, Arden, and served as the De Director General of Tax Studies and Legislation, the body that develops tax policy for the country. Great. All right. Now, um, um, Abdinal, she, she will step into the role of a, of a time of great economic uncertainty as Tunisia faces rising inflation, a devalued currency, and record unemployment. How well do you think she will perform on this role going by records we just saw? I mean, this is not a new trend, uh, especially in Tunisia and uh, many developing countries trying to bring in an experienced person uh, in dealing with international financial bodies and uh, as well as uh, local experience in revenue location. But the key issue is the country is also suffering from the COVID-19 pandemic where the response to vaccination campaign is really low. Uh, a percentage less than 20% have already taken the vaccine um, for the first time and some have taken the double. Therefore, a COVID-19 pandemic coupled with the polit political uncertainty, many people are waiting for the 30 days. Uh, investors are really worried. We've also had countries uh, uh, such as Turkey and Qatar and many others who were previously long allies of Tunisia raising concerns over the democratic, uh, what they call the 
interference of the democratic process, knowing that Tunisia is one of the successful outcomes of the Arab Spring um, at that time. Therefore, um, the other issue is uh, there might be concern about the, the new uh, interim minister for technology because of his experience in, uh, in holding um, many data, especially in issues related to the National Agency for Electronic Certification, being a university lecturer, and so on and so forth. Therefore, uh, the, the, the president's rushing in appointing the interim finance minister and interim minister for technology might be giving us a clue of uh, what next in Tunisia. Yes, and that brings me to my main question. The ministers appointed by the president will serve on interim basis as only the prime minister, who we don't have now, can mm -hmm. appoint cabinet chiefs. And Mr. Said has said that he will install a new head of government or perhaps a new prime minister. So how soon do we get that you know, new announcement, new prime minister uh, from President Kai Said? Well, already 10 of those 30 days have, have lapsed. Uh, 20 days are left, but the key issue here is not the 20 days. It's actually who is the front runner to take that prime minister position. We've had the prime, uh, the, the, the speaker of parliament who's been having a lot of influence. Uh, his Rachid um, he's unable to access his office. Uh, we know other influential leaders in the country in the country have been silent cons considering the current situation. The military and the security are the ones currently helping the president. Uh, control power in the country. Therefore, the successor for Prime Minister who's been removed, uh, HM Machichi, is the choice that people are really waiting to hear. And it's not about when he will announce, but it is who, in order to win the hearts and minds of the Tunisians who um, are divided in between supporting the president's decision and uh, supporting democracy in the country. Right. All right. Thank you so much, Abdinan Aden, our East African correspondent, for joining us on the program this morning. Thank you to you, too, and enjoy the rest of the program. All right. Right. Thank you.